like to introduce you a little bit into our company, Kala Software, so what we are actually doing. Most of the time, I'd like to uh, deserve to one feature in one of our products. We have a pilot and that has to do with um, saving data, uh, which also was uh, the topic of the presentation that took place and this morning on the on this side of the room and Doc's presentation, so I will take up on that and it will also be introduction into the panel discussion that we will have right after that in this room. So anyway, um, starting, so um, we are uh, a German-based company, we are actually a Berlin-based company uh, sitting right in the center of Berlin here for the one of you who don't know us, we are, uh, are around for some time, so founded in 95, and doing PDF technology and doing nothing else, at least during working hours, uh, than PDF technology. Um, we have three different product lines. One is uh, dedicated to PFA and archiving, so making PDF files or other file formats compliant with the PDFA standard uh, or with Zufer, and we, we saw the, the German invoice standard on the screen several times already today here. Another product line, similarly important for us, we have toolbox, and that is for graphic arts industry, uh, automating PDF processes so that PDF files can be properly printed on professional printing machines like an offset machine or a digital printing machine, and then we have PDF creation technology in the product PDF chip. Having that said, all of what, all, everything that we are doing has to do with automation and integration. So we also have interactive end-user products, but the majority of revenue and also the majority of end-users users using our technology are actually using it via uh, uh, a workflow, an automated workflow, or as integrated into other products. We are developing our products in Germany, um, but we are also part of the world. So um, when it comes to that, we are very active at uh, the development of ISO standards like PDFA, PDFX, PDF UA, so we are involved in the ISO committees. We have a worldwide sales channel, so you can, end users can actually purchase our products, luckily, uh, that is being managed by our distributor for peace. But again, the majority of our, of the end users actually are using our products indirectly by our OEM customers that have integrated our technology to their products. And there are various companies here. Uh, companies, the bigger ones are here on the slide. We have, have between 70 and 80 such OEM customers worldwide. So that's kind of software. Ah, yeah. And while I was talking about uh, ISO standards and that we are heavily involved there, I also thought, okay, maybe I should use this commercial track or some commercial chance also to advertise my talk tomorrow, uh, where I plan to give a brief tour on the different ISO standards that are based on PDF, like PDFX, PDFUA, what are the differences, what can I do if I want to create a PDF file that complies with both of them. You should visit my session tomorrow uh, here. So but now, uh, what, what, can we do, what can we do in order to save data so that it not becomes dead in, in a PDF file? Um, so we see here an invoice, an Excel spreadsheet, uh, some diagram, a table, and everything you could think of, okay, in the very moment as this structured information has been converted in PDF, it has kind of died. So it is now visible, but um, it is PDF can be seen as being a grade for, for data, so which is unfortunate. Uh, and it doesn't have to be so. So we, we have heard about Zufert. Zufert is a German standard for electronic invoices, and some people in Germany thought, okay, 
we want to we really want to to, to make e-invoicing happen because it could save the industry or the businesses a lot of money because if you can have automated processes uh, to, to process invoices um, every recipient of an invoice could take advantage of uh, structured information but the problem is if we want to introduce that the sender of the invoice and the receiver of an invoice have to agree on a certain time when they would switch from paper or PDF-based invoices to structured data. And then they, they, they found out there is actually a way to combine the two. And if you do so, I mean, it's fairly easy to, at the same time when you create an XML structure that carries the data, at the same time just create a PDF container for it, put the XML file into the container, and then send both together to the recipient, and then the recipient can decide which variant to use. And I, I still think this is a really smart thing, and it also shows the power of uh, the combination of PDF with structured information, for instance, in XML. A similar standard, so I've just picked two standards that build on this feature of embedding structured information, destroying free product documentation um, from also German uh, association of uh, car manufacturers, where they define in which way 3D geometries based on XML are to be embedded into PDF files so that they could send the PDF to their suppliers to create parts of the car, for the car. Okay? So we, we see there are standards building on, in this case, PDF A3, because, because PDF A3 allows you to embed such uh, files in, in, in whatever format you want. Um, build on PDF A3 uh, in order to uh, uh, have a fallback version, a, a, an image of what of the data and also the structured information. So in, in, effectively you create something that is more powerful than the two pieces. So I use most of my time for the introduction. So now just a very short views on the features and PDFA pilot. So if you want to do so, you would want to have, you need the PDF file. And if you have several parts of information, structured information that you want to embed into the PDF file, you want to create a template-based index file where you have kind of a summary of all the ingredients. So we thought, okay, how, how can you do that? We, we picked HTML, we thought, okay, let users, it is possible by today, uh, define an HTML template, design it uh, in the way you want it, so you don't have to have a Palos logo on there, you can pick whatever you want, design it in HTML, and have placeholders for the extra documents there, and then you can create a, a PDF A3 with structured information. You can get from Office files to PDF, and, and on the same, on the run, just while converting the Office file to PDF A3, also embed the original file into the PDF container, so that it is still editable and can, you can still uh, uh, modify it. And same for Excel spreadsheets, um, so that you would have all the, uh, so the, the functions and formulas uh, available. You could, you can do, you know, customers really do that, so I was surprised to find out myself. You have a signed PDF file, you want to convert it to PFA. You have to, maybe. Uh, this is coming from pharmaceuticals, so they have to do that. So what they, what they can't convert to PDFA in order, in, without breaking the signature. So what they do, they just take the original PDF file that has been signed, embed it into a rendition of that signed file as, as it originally was, and then removes the signature from the containing PDF file that basically has the same content, but still proves that it has been signed uh, at some point in the past. So super, you can do that with just a single click. Um, and then uh, yet another feature, assume you have a folder structure like in a zip container where you have several uh, levels of uh, folders. 
Uh, what you can do, you can uh, embed them, obviously, but you can embed them in a way that you would, in the PDF, I'd say, the folder structure. So, and then with a single mouse click, you can uh, extract all the PDF files and thereby uh, reconstruct the folder structure that existed in the first place. And then I should also say this very much works like a, like a better zip container because PDF usually compresses everything that uh, you put into it, that you embed to it using the same algorithms as, as zip would use. Um, yeah, email, yet another example. You can you know, email with all the attachments, convert it to PDF A3. And because I'm running out of time, I will have yet another session tomorrow, so that I would want to invite you to, uh, where I will uh, discuss this topic in further detail. Uh, you can check for, uh, with our technology for such combinations of PDF files, uh, whether they are all XML files or whether they have the same name as the container name and so forth. So you can do various other things, and who wants to learn more, there is, and who misses maybe, unfortunately, my sessions, they may visit our blog, where also written about that, and that brings me to the end of my presentation, and I guess also to the end of the 10 minutes. Thank you very much.